Hello everyone, back to you again to today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather going through into the third and fourth weeks of April uh, in this video. Some very interesting weather coming up. It looks like we're going to get a real boost in temperatures over the uh, next few days. Temperatures really will be lifting up quite a lot, I think, as we move through uh, the weekend into uh, next week. A really nice taste of spring uh, coming up. Now, before I go on the video, I just want to talk about the advertising. There will usually be video ads on my web pages here at gaswebbiz.com. So please pay those and you'll be supporting uh, gaswebbiz.com uh, by doing that. So we're going to start off by looking at the central England temperature. Just see how cold it's been uh, for the first week of April. The central England temperature currently stands at 3.2 which funnily enough is uh, an, an anomaly of minus uh, 3.2, 3.2 uh, below average. And that is just about the coldest uh, first week of April, probably since around 1922. So a really cold uh, first week of April following on from that extremely and exceptionally uh, cold March. But I say things are changing, and these are the 500 bit of our height anomalies. Uh, I've got the ECMWF here on the left, but GFS is on the right. 500 bit of ours, 80,000 feet is an important area in the Arctic, as we've got high pressure and low pressure uh, developing. And it's really as those high pressure and low pressure areas have moved around by the jet stream running above that we get uh, our weather. Now these are anomalies for 8 to 10 days time so this is taking us into that crucial uh, third week period of the month and we see that we've got a large area of above average heights, an anomalous area of above average uh, temperatures at 18,000 feet across many central and western parts of Europe. That's high pressure uh, there through central areas stretching back in towards uh, the west of Europe and the Atlantic and consequently we've got below average heights, uh, low pressure at 18,000 feet, uh, up to the north and west of the country. So we've lost all of the blocking we've had over the Arctic that's given us, given us all of that cold weather in the last few weeks. We've replaced it uh, with low pressure. This is a much more typical, much more classic uh, spring type weather pattern. Well, uh, it's a more classic weather pattern for us for any time of the year. Really, the Atlantic should be uh, the driving factor of the weather, and indeed it will be over the uh, next week or so. So yes, yeah, got this big area of high pressure to the south, uh, below average heights, low pressure to the north and the northwest. It's a more unsettled sort of pattern, but it could bring in some showers uh, to the north. But the main thing is that the temperatures would be getting a big boost with this coming in off the Atlantic and warm air coming around this area of high pressure uh, from the tropical Atlantic, possibly uh, in uh, some instances from the Mediterranean as well. That's the, G the ECMWF, this is the GFS, and it's a very, very similar idea with the high pressure, uh, the above average heights to the south of the country, below pressure uh, but below average heights to the north bringing the air off the Atlantic we've lost the blocking that is a very uh, classic spring uh, type weather pattern and you would expect from that it to be getting a good deal milder and indeed it will be now these are the GFS temperature ensembles we can see that uh, at the moment we're around where we uh, should be in the upper atmosphere it's still quite cold on the surface but uh, in the upper atmosphere the temperatures are already starting to uh, recover the red line here is where we should be uh, at this time of year. Uh, so all the members of the ensemble indicate that we're around average. But over the next few days, uh, those temperature ensemble members do go above average. And by the time we get through to the, uh, to the weekend, we really are seeing a boost in temperatures then, uh, with temperatures going well above average uh, actually uh, over the weekend. It'll be windy at the weekend, so it won't necessarily feel all that warm. But it's certainly going to be turning uh, much, much milder than we've seen for a long time. And then Really, as we go out to the third week of the month, which is really from here, the 15th of April, uh, we're seeing the temperatures staying, uh, remaining above average. Uh, we're going to be in for uh, quite a warm uh, third week of the month, if this is right, uh, with many members of the ensemble above red line going above average. The white line here, uh, I can see the white line, uh, that is indicating the ensemble mean. So that's all the members of the ensemble uh, together uh, forming a mean uh, line, and that is well above uh, average. So yes, we are looking at a much warmer uh, third week of April. The uh, temperature anomalies for the next week showing that we're uh, going above average. Look at this, I haven't seen this for a long time across many parts of Europe. We've got the salmon pink colours uh, turning up, indicating temperature anomalies going above average through much of Spain, uh, through much of France, through much of Germany, uh, the low countries as well. Still cold up over Scandinavia and the North East, but many parts of Central and Western Europe going above average. And for the British Isles, we're just starting to uh, hint at going above average. We're actually around average uh, for the next 10 day period, which is uh, choose the next week period I should say which is Tuesday the 9th to Tuesday uh, the 16th of uh, April we're still just around 
uh, where we should be. But uh, that's skewered by the temperatures right now, uh, which is still quite cold. As we go through the rest of this week, and that third week of April comes into view, uh, we should start to see the salmon pink colours turning up across many parts of the British Isles as well, indicating temperatures above average. So yes, it is going to be uh, quite a warm spell coming up. Have a look at the uh, uh, GFS uh, chart, uh, the generic chart from the GFS model. Uh, we see we've got uh, for a week's time, which is Tuesday the 16th of April, high pressure here across France and low pressure out in the Atlantic. So this is uh, really a, a generic chart, uh, very similar to what we saw on the ECMWF with the heights, uh, as I explained, above average heights, the high pressure to the south, uh, the below average heights, the low pressure up to the north. This is a generic way of looking at those uh, height anomaly charts. And yes, we see we're running to this southwesterly wind. The winds are uh, radiating from uh, the Azores, so it'll be a good deal milder. Temperatures 13, 14, 15 degrees, where they should be uh, for this time of year. And then as we go uh, beyond that, what we actually find is uh, high pressure starts to move up from the south across the country. Uh, we start to force this low pressure more out into the Atlantic. Actually, we build the heights up from the south. So this is very nice as we go out towards uh, the end of next week, Friday uh, the 19th of April. We're looking at a very nice spell of weather if this is right with that high pressure building up. Temperatures lifting up, possibly up to 18 degrees perhaps in some places. That's around uh, 64 Fahrenheit. Uh, will feel very, very pleasant indeed. The ECMWF for uh, eight days time and again we've got this Atlantic flow coming in across the country um, so it's always more unsettled up to the northwest to start next week uh, less unsettled for England and Wales but it's mild uh, for all of us with temperatures into the uh, mid-teens uh, hopefully uh, for just about all of us as we go through towards the end of next week ten days away again Friday the 19th again we, hint that we start to uh, build the high pressure up uh, from the south across the country uh, pushing that low pressure more out in the Atlantic and starting to stall it in the mid-Atlantic. So again, this implies that we're building high pressure up from the south. Uh, the showers, the showery rain uh, will become confined to northern western Scotland, much of the country turning settled through next week and really quite warm indeed with temperatures up to, th uh, up to 18 degrees, maybe a little bit higher if you get decent sunshine, could get up to 20 degrees with that. I wouldn't be at all surprised, very nice spell of weather. The GM, the Canadian model, is a little bit different as it usually is. And you remember yesterday, the Canadian model uh, was more unsettled uh, than the GFS and the ECM. It's the same case today, actually. We've got more of a low pressure influence for uh, the end of next week, 10 days away, uh, Friday the 19th of April, uh, when the other two models were building that high pressure up from the south across the country and forcing that low pressure uh, to become stored in the Atlantic. This model actually wants to keep more of an anti cyclone chronic influence it would be more said it's still mild uh, temperatures will still be into the mid teens with this uh, with a very uh, nice mild wind coming in off the Atlantic but it's just not as settled as the other two models but as I explained yesterday the Canadian model is often uh, somewhat different so I think we can say with really good confidence now uh, that we are going to be seeing a boost in temperatures coming up over the next few days particularly from the weekend into next week through the third week of April I think we're definitely looking at a better very very nice uh, taste of spring now it's about the end of winter well I'm not actually entirely sure that it will be uh, there's just a chance as we go through into the final week of April that we might start to see it turning uh, colder again uh, these are the uh, Arctic this is the Arctic Oscillation Observed and Forecast chart. Uh, you remember the Arctic Oscillation is really reflecting the state of the uh, pressure distribution over the uh, North Pole. And when the Arctic Oscillation is negative, as it has been throughout March, exceptionally negative, off the scale negative, uh, that's telling us we've got very extensive blocking up over the Arctic and the black line here indicates where we've been uh, with that. Uh, when the Arctic Oscillation is positive that's telling us that we've lost the blocking over the Arctic, we've replaced it with low pressure and that's the sort of pattern we've got coming up we see that uh, the forecast is taking uh, the Arctic Oscillation positive, not extremely positive but it is going positive over the next few days, uh, indicating that we're going to be bringing that low pressure in across the Arctic and that's, that's as we saw on the height anomaly charts of course, most below average heights now, it's just this area here I want you to focus on, uh, as that's 
going out towards the end of the month, and we see many members of the ensemble, many members of the Arctic Oscillation Ensemble, starting to dip back down into negative territory. We've still got a few members uh, that are indicating positive, but many members of the Arctic Oscillation Ensemble are going negative right at the end of the month, and that could just be the signs that uh, we're going to see blocking uh, coming back and another indication that this is possibly the case is looking at the uh, GFS uh, NAEFS, which is uh, of ensemble, uh, which is uh, basically generic uh, charts uh, indicating the ensemble members of the uh, GFS. So uh, if we go back to the GFS ensembles, uh, these are uh, the uh, GFS ensembles here, the temperature ensembles. Each line is an individual uh, member of that ensemble. And uh, what the uh, NAEFS or the NEFS uh, are uh, telling us is uh, we group together all of those individual members and we come up with a generic uh, chart uh, that uh, really tells us uh, what each individual member uh, grouped together is going for. So hope I've explained that okay. It's a little bit difficult to explain this, but uh, this is uh, for uh, a 10 days time, uh, the 16th of April, and we've got high pressure, the above average heights uh, being indicated here across many central parts of Europe, uh, the low pressure, the below average heights in the Atlantic. Now as we move through this, uh, it's indicated to see where this area of high pressure goes uh, in this uh, ensemble mean, uh, because as we go through the run, uh, we start to see those area, that area of high pressure uh, increasingly going north and west of the country. So that by the time we get through to the very end of the uh, ensemble, which is uh, uh, the 23rd of April, 384 hours away, uh, we've actually got a mean chart, ensemble mean chart here, uh, with high pressure uh, above average heights going out to the west of the country and to the north, going back up towards Iceland and Greenland. Now, if that's right, that will start to bring down much colder air uh, from uh, the north uh, once again. It's just interesting to see where the pattern might go as we go into the final week of April. We could well see retrogression of the high pressure. It's going to give us a very nice third week of month. We could well see it's starting to retrogress out into the Atlantic and start to move up towards Iceland and Greenland once again. If it happens, it'll turn much, much colder in the final week of April and possibly give us one last uh, blast of winter. Uh, probably didn't explain the uh, NEFs very well, uh, but uh, that's just something to keep an eye on. I'll be keeping an eye on it over the next few days uh, to see what those ensemble members, uh, what the ensemble mean uh, is predicting. Uh, it could well get very interesting in the last week of the month. But in any case, we've got some very nice weather coming up over the next few days. Uh, much, much warmer, much more spring-like uh, conditions, so uh, get out and enjoy it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.